Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome back to City Car Driving VR. It's finally back and today we're looking at the Jaguar F-Type SVR. We're using the Oculus Quest 2 again and let's get going. But before we begin, I've noticed that 95% of you aren't subscribed to my channel. So if you could subscribe and like this video, it would really, really help me out. Okay, so here we are. We're in the SVR. This is one of the best, most powerful versions of the F-Type you can buy. And I love this interior. Now, if you look on the Steam Workshop where you can get this mod, there's lots of different options for extras, like you can change to a tan interior, um, different wheels, all that kind of stuff. I haven't done any of that, but um, they are there available for you. And let's have a look, quick look at the outside. As you can see, I've got this beautiful sort of orange paint job. I think it looks really good. Um, I actually really like the look of the F-Type, but I am really looking forward to getting on the road so this mod has custom sounds ready now that's the um, seat belt that's the starting up of the engine oh look at that and we've got kind of a um, uh, infotainment display there now, this is an automatic so I've got to go into drive there we go you have to hold the brake down to do that and let's get going so this is kind of like a mixture between a sports car and a Grand Tourer oh listen to that so I pop the popping exhaust i think they have to like inject sort of or maybe they inject kind of like um droplets of fuel into the exhaust so they ignite and create that kind of popping sound i think um have got custom indicator noises which i mean isn't a massive feature but that's pretty cool isn't it and yeah this interior is nice you've got big clear to see um wing mirrors Let's get let's, let's overtake this guy. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Wow! Okay, we've got anti lock brakes enabled for this car. Now, the last car I drove in, in the game, I haven't done city car driving VR for a very long time, was the, um, the Ferrari F40, which was a pretty scary car to drive, actually. Um, this Audi is going really slow. Now this game hasn't been updated in a very long time and I'll tell you what they need to do. They need to upgrade the traffic because the traffic is driving like 20 year old cars now. It's really ancient. Um, and I think there are mods out there, not that you can get on Steam, where you can get AI traffic mods, which is really cool, a bit like sort of Eurotruck has. See, are there back seats in this car? No, <laughs> no there aren't. It's a shame we can't look outside in VR, but... The, uh, wow, okay. It's quite hard to read the... It's in kilometres per hour. Oh my goodness. Oh, we just sideswiped that guy. I reckon this car could go probably 300 and something kilometres per hour. The SVR has got this big V8 engine. And, um, I think it's, like, better than the R. The SVR is, like, a limited edition. Not really limited edition, but limited production they're not going to make loads and loads of them why are you stopping there why is he stop there come on yeah let's go well, there's a bit of a place to park there maybe that guy's trying to park i don't know i know we're on the highway right now which is not my favorite road if it's a bit like a roller coaster so you go like around these long banked curves Right, we can get up some speed now. That's 220 kph. Oh no. Wow, we just missed that guy. Well, okay. Break, 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 break. Now I'd love to see a mod for the convertible version of this, because when I drove a convertible in this car, uh, in this game before, uh, you can like look up and see the clouds and the, um, the birds flying over. And it really feels like you're there. It just adds to the, somehow adds to the um, element of realism because you're not like sheltered in a box. You can actually see the world around you. Um, and since I upgraded my PC, which was mainly a CPU upgrade, I went, I went to a, a Ryzen 9 5900X. This game runs smooth, no jitters. Um, I haven't got the graphics on full because you don't really need the graphics on full. But uh, yeah, it looks, it looks good. Looks really good. And the Quest 2 is still a current VR headset. You know, they haven't um, replaced it with anything. Despite the fact that uh, 
Facebook has renamed to Meta, and they're going to call this the Meta Quest instead of the Oculus Quest, which I don't like that change. Oculus is such a big brand name to gamers, and they've, they've changed it completely now. They're going to call it Meta Quest, which has no provenance, you know, no real significance to anyone. Um, you know, we're, at the, we're at the lights, we can see, have a look around there. David's phone, is that there? Darkness, 20 something outside, so yeah. Banbury Road, wow, okay. Um, it doesn't actually work, that thing, it's just for show. And we've got climate control knobs and the seats are like quilted. And then there's Alcantara material on the dashboard. So yeah, it is pretty, pretty good. That mirror, that for some reason the in the mods, the rear view mirror is poor on these. They're, all the mods have like terrible resolution. It's like a Game Boy sort of resolution, you know. Um, but the, the side mirrors are good, so yeah. And look at the amount of adjustment we've got for the seats. There's like, I don't know how many, four knobs there to adjust the seats. Oh! Off we go. Now we're going to annoy a lot of people doing this because we've, we're, we're storming through the middle of a town with our V8 engine and people are going to be woken up if they're sleeping, although it is like, you know, um, midday. And I've got the Christmas map enabled. As you can see, there's a Christmas tree over there, a few little... A sauna? Oh, where is that? Uh, a few little, like, decorations up around. I think if you go into, like, night time, the lights come on and that's pretty cool. Um, and maybe later this month, I will, tr I will drive in the snow. Because it is December right now as I'm recording. So I want to have a look at some December wintry weather. Got the lights on. The uh, dashboard doesn't really light up that much, which isn't great. But well, that guy just did a weird manoeuvre. Now I don't want to be in this lane. I want to be, wow, there's two identical twins in that car. Uh, I want to be over there, really. So... <sighs> what I always wonder is if, if you don't drive safe in this game, right, if you drive a bit mental in this game, um, you can really get into a bad habit because it's so like real life when you've got the VR headset and the steering wheel. You can get into like bad habits. And like, that is not a manoeuvre I do in real life. You could probably have a bad accident doing that. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I said, there's a lot of Christmas trees around here. Um, I wonder if there is anywhere in the world where they have these, this level of decoration all around, because, you know, I, I haven't, there's nowhere in the UK where I live that's like this. It's got a Santa hat on. Wow, the, the pedestrians have Santa hats on. That's cool. So uh, let's go left. Find a place to park and say goodbye to the SVR. Yeah, it's all been modelled quite nicely. We've even got like the airbag warning sign for children's car seats on the um, passenger side sun visor, which is cool. Oh, for goodness sake. Let's just go. Whoa, there's a... <laughs> the second I chose to go, there was a truck coming. Or a bus. You can't really drift. And if I did if I did a full, man full throttle manoeuvre like that in... Um, real life, I would have spun out there. Ah, let's park over here. Very Christmassy. Really nice. So yeah, the F-Type SVR. Good fun. Let's go to that. What I don't know what that thing is in the centre of the um, map. It's like a. It looks like a couple of. Or is it an anchor? I was going to say it looks like hairbrushes, but can't be that. So yeah, if there is a vehicle you'd like me to try out in this game, please let me know. The Steam Workshop is full of all sorts of mods, um, and even though I might not be able to find the exact vehicle you want me to do. Um, I think it'll be possible to find something close. And I'm really, I really want people's suggestions for what kind of car you'd like me to drive, because this is by far one of the most popular things I do on the channel. Yeah, it's like a sort of 
a digger or a... I don't know what that is. We shouldn't really park on here, but... What? Wow, what is that? Oh, it's a rocket. It's a rocket. It could have been changed to, like, Santa's sleigh or something. That'd be cool. For the Christmas theme. Anyway. Here we go. We've parked up. Take the seatbelt off. Engine off. Handbrake on. And into neutral. Perfect. There we go. The Jaguar F-Type SVR. Thank you very much for watching this episode of City Car Driving VR. Make sure to join my Discord server. We have monthly giveaways and there's a, a giveaway going on right now on my Discord server. So, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more content from my channel and check out these videos to see more simulation gaming on Simulator Adventures.